It is yet another date night, and he took me to Amsterdam Barrel House, where I had my very first legitimate fish and chips, and I also had beer on the side with it, where they made it in the location in itself. I'm not a beer drinker, but I think it was kind of good. And then back at home, we decided to bake together. We are going to be making cookies for people to give uh, as gifts. We are going to be making red velvet cookies, and I didn't really think of adding any instructions here because uh, i was just trying out a pinterest recipe i think it turned out pretty good because the people did give us positive replies and i'm hoping it's not because they were trying to be nice and i know for one thing it's very important to make sure that the measurement of butter is exact it does play such a huge role in how chewy and how or gooey the cookies become are Brown sugar was rock hard, so we had to break it up. And here I am using the new stand up mixer. I didn't even realize that my spatula that I bought from Zellers months ago matched the current st uh, stand up mixing machine. The red coloring made the dough look really disgusting. And here we are using the tools so that the flour doesn't fly it was very useful there was quite a lot of dough actually that we made and i had to store a roll that would probably make another like a dozen more cookies they look like organs <laughs> anyway i think these turned out pretty cute they're not looking cute right now but after it was baked which i think we ha just had to leave in for 15 minutes it looked cute it didn't look like organs anymore it didn't look like flesh i did not have a proper bowl i guess to melt the, the chocolate but it worked out it didn't burn and i was scared it was going to but it turned out pretty fine i wanted to make it artsy and not to put chocolate chips inside it but instead like drizzling the white chocolate and i think it, it gave kind of like a professional look I don't know. <laughs> There's definitely so much joy in making the gifts instead of buying it for others. Tired of began with breakfast with his sisters because someone was going to be leaving that very day and we couldn't go with her because we had Christmas lunch and we went to use seafood at Yorkdale and we ordered quite a lot of items actually because we thought that the amount would be much lesser since it was expensive but everything was pretty filling and pretty tasty at least for me they said that they didn't, they didn't think it was very authentic but it definitely was very very nice to look at i thoroughly enjoyed every single item and i but i did not try the chicken feet so i can't say anything for that and obviously we had dessert and that was free the mango sago which was it was very fancy It is yet another date night and we went to Pickle Barrel. Everything on the menu was so expensive, but we decided to go ahead and share a wonton nacho platter, which was really good by the way. And then we ordered this thick sandwich, which we halved, but everything was all in all very filling we were scared it would not fill us up after that we went to go watch wonka at the vip cinemas at young eglinton and the wonka movie was so cute anyway at the end of the movie there was barely anybody outside and i saw santa claus and that's us trying to leave <laughs>